c'è un motore fuori bordo che non There is an outboard engine that I couldn't wait to try. It's very powerful. It's very light. In fact, it's the lightest in its power class. It's the 450R from Mercury Racing. It has these qualities of a racing engine precisely because it was developed by a racing factory. Three, two, one, action. Since it is certainly exciting to try one of these engines, to triple the sensations, we have chosen three of them. Three Mercury Racing 450R outboards installed on this Wellcraft 352 Fisherman. Siamo in una condizione molto severa per questi motori. We are in a very severe condition for these engines because this hull, in these conditions in which we see it now, is set up with the crew on board and the fuel tanks are full and it weighs well over 10 tonnes. In short, the weight-to-power ratio is not that of a racing boat with 1,350 horses at the stern. This is an eight-cylinder V 4.6-litre engine. A standard outboard motor has never been seen with a similar weight-to-power ratio, 1.41 horsepower per kilogram. Listen and look at that acceleration. It is equipped with a 2.04 litre volumetric compressor with double screw and the peak power of 450 horses is delivered to the propeller shaft. The power, however, would be nothing if there were no torque. And this engine has 40% more torque than the 400R, yet it only weighs 9 kilos more. But how did they do it? Well, let's not forget that Mercury Racing has enormous experience in competitions, with all the titles, the records, the championships won from boats and the riders who use these engines. There is not a single nautical discipline in which a Mercury engine has not been successful in regard to this configuration with volumetric compressor. Mercury has been using it for 15 years now and therefore has considerable experience. I don't remember trying a boat of this size that had a similar acceleration. Mercury knows all too well that you need to be able to control a boat so powerful and fast, and for this reason it has been using, for a long time, a precise electro-hydraulic steering system. And if you want to see these engines on a racing boat, they have the option of connecting them with a tie bar applied to the rear of the outboard. Do you feel how it runs well? How round and fluent it is? It's all due to its architecture. An eight-cylinder V-shaped with an angle between the banks of 64 degrees. The distribution is with an oil bath chain which requires no maintenance and controls four camshafts. The latter rules the four valves of each cylinder. By the way, the valves come from racing and the forged pistons also come from competitions. But these engines have another secret, the double intercooler, which reduces the air temperature that is introduced into the volumetric compressor. This way it is possible to add more, because it is fresher, and therefore it is possible to increase its density. And if there is more oxygen in the combustion chamber, the combustion is more efficient, and the power is higher. Great acceleration even when turning, even in the most difficult conditions. 
Also, we have the heavy duty foot indicated for heavy boats like this, which is more thrust, more sustenance. Think about how a lighter boat would go with the sport master with a racing foot. Both these feet have a ratio of 1.6, which means that the propeller turns only 1.6 times less than the crankshaft. It's a competition link. This means that on heavy boats like this, it's not good. Actually, that is not true. It's amazing. No, va benissimo. Sapete perché? Do you know why? Because there is the volumetric compressor, which gives us this thrust, this pair, even when the speed is low. We are now at 4,000 RPM. The speed at the moment is 37 knots. A consumption figure about 170 litres per hour, equal to 4.5 litres per mile. Here the sea has risen a little, so I raise the trim. I wonder how they managed to put everything in there, in that very small grill, the same as the 300. There must be an infernal heat, yet they managed to tame the temperature with the exceptional cooling system, also through oil radiators. We're at 4,100 RPM and we've gone to 44 knots. I'll give it some more trim. giri. 5,000 RPM, 50 knots. Let's see if we can reach the maximum speed of this engine, 6,400 RPM, down the throttle on the trim. Stiamo volando sulle onde. Nessuna difficoltà di controllo anche se siamo sul mosso. We are flying on the waves. There is no difficulty in control, even if we are on rough waters, and even if there are a few waves in the wake of the other boats. Wow, now we are going very fast, at the speed of 57 knots. Ah no, mi sono sbagliato. 58. Oh no, I was wrong. 58, 59 knots. What a missile! Che missile! Avete visto la stabilità? Have you seen the stability? It is also the result of a special support system for this engine, a steel guide that keeps the motor perfectly aligned in the direction you have set it in. It is a very fast engine, extraordinary performance, lightning acceleration. So it's only racing? No, it's reactional as well. There is also the joystick.